For the first time this season, the best Ohio high school football players will meet up against the best Michigan high school football players in the Ohio-Michigan Border Classic right here at Finley's at Donnell Stadium, a game you'll be able to see on WOSN. Now let's head inside for a press conference between the head coaches, including Lima Seniors Mike Fell coaching the Ohio team. Good afternoon and welcome to the city of Finley. On behalf of Finley High School, the University of Finley, and the Visitors Bureau here, we are excited to host the inaugural Ohio-Michigan Border Classic here at Donnell Stadium. Donnell Stadium was built in 1927 and continues to serve as one of the premier stadiums in Ohio. As beauty comes with age, Donnell Stadium is still one of the most attractive high school stadiums, as it has also hosted some of the greatest football games ever played in Ohio. In addition, the stadium still holds several attendance records at OHSA-sponsored playoff events. To this day, the Donnell Foundation continues to support these facilities. A gift for Finley City Schools from Otto Donnell, Donnell Stadium was the original dream of J.C. Donnell, president of the Ohio Oil Company, which later became named Marathon Oil Company. Donnell Stadium is the home of the Finley Trojans and four-time national champion Oilers of the University of Finley. The Ohio vs. Michigan Border Classic will take place on Saturday, July, or I'm sorry, Saturday, June 14th, with a kickoff set for 1 o'clock p.m. The Ohio High School Football Coaches Association and Michigan Coaches Association have selected 40 players and coaches and six coaches to compete in the contest. The athletes have arrived this morning and will begin practice today at 3.30. Tomorrow, the athletes and coaches will have a full day practice with a day ending in a friendly bowling competition. On Friday, after practice, a banquet will be hosted in the evening at the University of Fenway Student Union at 7 o'clock. Tickets may be purchased on Saturday for $5 with youth football players 12 and under who wear a jersey or identifying t-shirt receiving free admission. I welcome Coach Eric Baker, member of the Board of Directors of the Ohio High School Football Coaches Association, who will discuss more details of this amazing event and introduce our coaches. Coach? Uh, first, I'd like to lead with the, the genesis of this. For years, Ohio played Pennsylvania in the Big 33. 2012, um, it was decided from the Pennsylvania side that the contract with Ohio is no longer going to be continued uh, because we value not just the, the friendly competition, but the ability for our uh, Ohio players to be showcased in a, a game of that magnitude. Um, Coach Mike Mock from Kenton and John McAllister, who uh, runs a company called MSR Ohio, it's a scouting combine, reached out on behalf of our board of directors to uh, the association in Michigan. Uh, They're receptive to it, and we began planning this game. Um, it's been, the result this week is the result of uh, a great uh, partnership between Finley City Schools, the University of Finley is our host, uh, the Finley Hancock Alliance uh, has done an unbelievable job for us getting the word out. and. Uh, doing some marketing for us statewide, and they uh, combined sources, resources of the Ohio High School Football Coaches Association and the Michigan High School Football Coaches Association. Uh, the ideal in this is to find the best 40 players in each, each state graduating and showcase them in this game. Uh, the intent on it is for the game to rotate sites between the states um, each year. It was a conscious decision from the OHS FCA to have the game in Northwest Ohio um, for years, uh, a lot of the state championships and the all-star games um, were, were located either in Franklin County or Stark County, and uh, we wanted to be able to bring uh, high, the highest level of football to different parts. Hence, you know, the North-South games being played in Dayton at, North, at Welcome Stadium, and we wanted the uh, Ohio-Michigan game um, to be featured in Finley. Uh, specifically because of the facilities at the University of Finley and um, what a great facility uh, Donnell Stadium is to host this kind of venue. Um, at this point, I'd like to turn it over to Coach Mike Zadebski from P Team Michigan, uh, talk a little bit about his team, and then follow that by, with Coach Mike Fell from Team Ohio. Uh, first, it's a privilege and honor to represent the state of Michigan and the Michigan High School Coaches Association in this game, especially being the first one. 
Uh, we want to thank the Michigan High School Coaches Association, the Ohio Coaches Association, and the University of Finley uh, for pro providing us with this opportunity. Um, our players, I believe, come from programs that present unselfishness and a very team-oriented background and orientation to what they do. And you know, through that, we've, we've picked what we feel are the 40 best players in the state of Michigan to play in this game. We have uh, a variety of players that will go on to academic institutions that represent the Big Ten, the ACC, the MAC, 1AA, and Division II colleges within the state and without, around the country. Uh, to prepare for this game, we did have a meeting in the winter with the entire program and staff and with Larry Merckx organizing many of those events. We had two practices leading into this to get the kids together, to get to know each other. Uh, today, uh, we were fortunate enough that we had a charter bus to bring the kids here. Uh, the first stop was at East Kentwood High School at 5.30 a.m. this morning. The second stop was at Okemos High School at 6.30 a.m. And then the final stop was at Farmington Hills Harrison at 7.30 this morning. And uh, we're very happy that all of our players are here and they're ready to compete this weekend and hopefully uh, we can represent the state of Michigan well. Hey, I'd like to thank everyone for coming. It's nice to have a big, big crowd here. Uh, just like Coach said, I'd like to thank everybody involved, both coaches associations. Uh, Finley, putting on a great show. You know, Eric Baker talks, you know, he sent me pretty much everything that was happening all the way through. And all the support we've gotten from Finley University, from Finley High School, from the stadium, from the, the community, you know, it's been outstanding. So when you, when you put on a, a show like this or a football game like this, it's great to have the support of the community. We're hoping everybody comes out on Saturday and it, it'll be a nice football game, nice venue for everything we've done. Our kids are excited. We, uh, we picked the top 40 kids in the state of Ohio. And you know you have some problems when you get when you get involved with that because the way colleges are going now, a lot of colleges are having um, their young men report early. So when we end up with the team we have, we have a, a great representative of the state of Ohio. We have a number of colleges. We have a young man who's going to the University of Michigan. We've got three Ohio State guys. So you know we've got all the big time colleges represented. We have um, we had one practice about a month ago. And we had a number of young men there. We got some things done. We're excited to uh, throw the ball around. We know that um, Michigan's got that vaunted running slash passing attack. The coach, we've been, watch we've been to both his practices. So we've had a scout at both their practices. And, uh, you know, it's, it's been nice. So we have a pretty good idea what they're doing. But, you know, that's, that's one of the things. You don't know what's going on with the other team because, you know, they're up in Michigan. We're down here in Ohio. And so, you know, we get, to, we get to see what Michigan football is all about, and they get to see what Ohio football is all about. But we're very excited to be involved in the game. Our players are excited, and uh, we're looking forward to a nice, nice venue on Saturday. Okay, at this point, the floor is open for questions, and do what you need to do. How do you guys get a team together in three days? Seems like a tough task. Well, I tell you, it, it actually started um, a long time ago. You know, we started calling these young men from, like I said, we picked out John McAllister, kind of, we picked out the top 40 players in the state of Ohio. And you look at those guys, so you have seven or eight guys that are going to Ohio State. You have guys going to Michigan. You go through that whole thing. But what you don't realize is a lot of these guys might report early. Some of these guys, a big thing we've come into is guys going to school in June because the colleges want them there so they can lift weights and do all those things. So, and we have a North-South All-Star game where we had 128 young men play in. So we got some players from that, but we've gone, you call them, it's tough these days. You get, you get on their cell phones, talk to their high school coaches, administrators, and uh, get the young men to commit. So the guys that are playing in this game committed to us. They promised they would be here. They're showing up, and so we're excited about it. Is there a challenge trying to get guys to play football? I mean, football is such a rhythm sport. You guys had a long training camps in August, you know, leading up to your season to get them back in shape. 
Have you guys encountered any of that issues in terms of shape and pushing back too hard and that's just a short term? With us, we're going to be very careful with the contact. Um, you know, the conditioning aspect of a practice won't be there. With enough players and using platoon systems, it'll be much easier than their normal high school games where a lot of these kids are going both ways. Uh, they have a training staff here for us, so they should be able to take care of any of those little injuries that come up. But we, we're going to be very, very careful in these next three days to make sure the kids stay healthy leading up into the game. It's always a concern, um, these young men. But you know, any more kids are training year round. You know, I, and there isn't a young man who's got a scholarship to play college football who hasn't been doing stuff for the last two, three months, whether he's in another sport or he's preparing to go to college here. And so we feel comfortable that they're in good enough shape as far as physically that way. Now, contact shape, you know, it's different because it's going to be kind of like the first day of two days when they hit on Saturday because they're going to have pads on. But like Coach said, you're, we're not going to beat these kids up. We're just going to try to teach them the offense, teach them the defense, and get them in a, a good position to play in the game on Saturday. In about six weeks, you two guys are going to be putting your high school teams together once or two days. We've got a month, month and a half to prepare. With this kind of talent, if in six weeks you had this kind of talent, we had that much time, if you don't, we had a couple of days. How do you get the, the systems in this quickly? We only got like two days, but just tons of talent. Well, you, you, you cut it down. You know, you definitely cut it down. I, I think the key in these type of games is get the ball to the guys that can do the, do the job. You know, if you have, you have a couple studs out there, you get them the ball. And every offense has that in it where the, the top guys get the ball. And, you know, so you may not have every play in that you did during the season, but you're going to be able, in our system, you know, we have a wristband system. We do a, what's called the Tony Franklin system. It, you, can, you can install it in two, three days. Now, you won't have everything in there and you won't be practicing all, but you can install the whole system in there as far as um, kids are able to run the plays. But, you know, timing it up and stuff, that's a different story. Same thing. We will have everything installed in the two practices today. 50% will be in the first practice. 50% will be in the second practice. Based on our installation that we worked on in those two practices prior, uh, we have scaled it back substantially based on the amount of time that we have. We just want to try to be good at what we do. You guys uh, kind of play out the Ohio issue thing. Obviously, there's a lot of joking that goes back and forth. But is that something that you guys will play on, or you keep it more of a football thing, not playing the emotions? Really? Oh, yeah. It's Ohio and the team up north. I mean, hey, these kids grow up with that. Um, but you know, it's, it's, they're not, like I said, we have Noah Furbush who's going to the University of Michigan. So you know, he's going to be one of those situations where he's playing his last game for Ohio. And it's just a, it's a natural rivalry that way. But it's still, these kids are top athletes in their school, in their state. They're going to be wanting to play regardless of who they're playing that way. But it's a natural rivalry with Michigan. Yeah, it, it, it is a big deal. Um, the kids know it's Ohio. Um, there's a lot there with high school football and how good high school football is. <clears throat> it's always a big game when the Michigan teams get a chance to go down to play Ohio, when the Ohio teams come up to play the Michigan teams. Um, it, a lot of it has to do with the, the Michigan-Ohio State game for years and what was built upon that. So it, whether it's stated or not, it's there. You talked about how each, each state's going to alternate who hosted each year. How, how many years have they committed to this game? Um, Larry, do you know what the level of the commitment is, or Eric? Do you know how many years? I know, I know we, it was a verbal agreement. It was everybody got. We have this year. You guys have next year to see where we're at. Exactly. Going after that. So. One year, one up north, as you say. We'll see where we go from there. Mike, I noticed the Ohio players like six players of the year. Defense player of the year. You look for defense first. Uh, you know, it, it was one of those things. You, you just kind of look for the top guys that are available to play, and uh, those young men, fortunately, were able were able to be able in this football game. You know, it's tough to um, it's tough to kind of pick. You, you, like I said, you look at the guys that have got full ride scholarships. Um, then if you don't have any of those guys left, you you look at guys that are, you know, maybe 
Division One Player of the Year, Division Two, things like that. And then sometimes you get recommendations from other guys that say, hey, this guy can play. So he'd be good for your All-Star game. So, you know, there's a number of different ways to come up with players. Like, did you run into any resistance from colleges trying to pull guys out and say, we don't want our guys? Yes, yes. Um, Northwestern, Notre Dame, Wake Forest. Uh, we had Travis Smith, Wake Forest pulled him. Uh, we had the young man from Berrien Springs. He was pulled, but yeah, we, we did uh, have three, those three schools pull their kids. Do you have anybody pull their kids? <laughs> yeah, we had a couple. Yeah, we had. It, it was. Um, it's tough. It's tough because colleges colleges want their guys there. You know, now they want them there in June. You know, this is a. It's a. It's a tough spot to um, to get these young. That's why you really appreciate the guys that are here, because they. Um, you know, some of these guys are reporting. High state guys are reporting Sunday. You know, we got three guys going to high state. They're reporting on Sunday. A lot of we got a couple guys who are got permission to hire you, let them, you know, come, even though they have a, they're, they're missing something on Friday, they're reporting day. So, you know, the guys that are here, we appreciate it because it's, um, it's quite a, it's quite a deal anymore to get guys that can play at this time of year. From the Michigan side, is this, Ohio obviously had the big 30 grade before, I don't know if there's been anything like this in Michigan. Is this really a cool chance to kind of show off the talent that you guys have, especially? Yeah, I think it is. We, we had the East-West All-Star game since 1982. 1980 was the first year of that East-West All-Star game, and it was played all the way through last year. And that was a great opportunity for the kids in our state because it was 88 of them. You know, with knocking it down to 40 kids, obviously the talent pool has gone up. And we've seen the, the bigger athletes, the big-time kids going to the Big Ten, ACC type of schools, they want to play in this game because it, it's just not a little in-state game now. It wasn't in, a little thing, but this is much bigger. You know, this is you know, got that Midwest flavor to it, uh, with the two states that are right next to each other. A couple of weeks ago, you guys got together, kind of hammered out the playing rules. Was there anything contentious about that? Was it important to have this to be as close to being a live game as possible? Well, we really worked on trying to make it real football because you get in these games when you have less time to prepare, like special teams and things like that. So there's a couple rules we have, special teams as far as guys allowed to rush. But, you know, we've, we've pretty much let it be regular football. And we don't have a whole lot of, um, you know, we have a 4-3 defense is what we're playing. But we can play man and we can play zone. You know, in a lot of All-Star games, you're only allowed to play man to man. So, you know, we've tried to make it more like the real football game. And, you know, Eric's been big on that, you know, just let the kids come out and play. Joined now by the head coach of the Ohio All-Star team, Mike Fell, of course, Lima senior head coach. And it's got to be pretty good to have a, one more chance to, to coach Josh Boquist. Yeah, you know, it's nice to get a chance to coach Josh. And Justice Graham is also playing from Lima senior. And so that will be fun for us, you know, give these guys another chance, get a chance to play against the guys from Michigan. You got a couple of kids from Kenton on your team as well, Noah Furbush and Grant Sherman. Is Grant Sherman the type of quarterback you've always dreamed about having in your system? Well, you know, he's the type of guy that can get the ball out there quick and get it down the field. And with him and Justice, you know, we feel like we got the guys that would be good for this system. Idea is for each quarterback to basically play a half of the game then? Yeah, that's how we'll do it. Well, you know, if some guy gets hot, he's playing well, he may get a little more playing time. But, you know, you try to, in an all star game, you try to get everybody the same amount of time. Limited practice, how much can you install your type of offense with these kids? We can get the offense in. That's no problem. You know, we have, we'll have five practices before we get out there and play. And, you know, kids will pick it up pretty quick. We have a wristband system, so they can read it that way. And, you know, one quarterback knows that the other one's in a similar type offense. So we're, we're not worried about that. Close to 60 Division I college athletes on the field come this Saturday. What's it like to have that much talent at your disposal? Well, it's a lot of fun. You get to see some – some guys make some fantastic plays. You get guys that you're going to see the next four or five years playing on Saturday afternoons, and a couple of these guys are going up in the NFL. So, you know, it's it's big-time fun for the coaches just to get to know these guys and to work with them. You know, I think one of the interesting things at that press conference was Eric Baker said they purposely put this game in Northwest Ohio because historically the All-Star games have been in Central Ohio, then in Northeast Ohio State titles haven't been in Northwest Ohio. It's good to have a game like this in our backyard. Yeah, you know, Northwest Ohio has good football. You know, it's a lot of small school football, and you don't have the, the big schools, but, you know, you get up in Toledo, 
and you get around here, Lyman Finley, you know, there's some big school kids. So it's exciting for it, especially this area. We'll be interested to see what kind of crowd we get on Saturday. Finally, are you going to make the kids do push-ups if they say the M word instead of that school up north, that state up north? Hey, you know, whatever works, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Uh, but, you know, playing the, playing the state up north, it's, it's a big – it's a big thrill for these guys. They've grown up that way, so we'll see how it works out. All right, thank you very much, Coach Fell. He'll be on the Ohio right, high, high School sideline on Saturday. Don't forget, you can see that game Saturday night on WOSN.